Welcome back to the Recipe for Happiness. I'm Dr. Drew Ramsey. Let's talk about ketones. Ketones are the other fuel for your brain. If you Google about it, you're going to see everyone says that the brain runs on glucose or blood sugar. Now that's true most of the time, but lots of you out there are going on to the paleo diet, you're going on to the Atkins diet, diets that are low in carbohydrates. I'd also mention another one, the happiness diet, low in refined sugars, uh, refined carbohydrates. When your body doesn't take in these carbohydrates, you start to break down fat and use fat as the primary fuel to feed the brain. And to do this, your liver takes fat and, and kind of breaks it down into small little molecules called ketones. And in low amounts, or in the amounts that are around when you don't eat carbohydrates, ketones are perfectly safe. People have heard about uh, key, uh, ketoacidosis, which is a problem that diabetics get. But when you're not eating carbohydrates, it's not dangerous, and your brain eats ketones. And a lot of times people report some mood changes when this happens. Now, some people get a little bit more irritable. But also I've heard and seen reports that over time people feel more stable, more calm, and more relaxed. And there's actually some scientific study going on right now looking at treating depressive symptoms by putting people on a ketogenic diet, or a diet that promotes the formation of ketones by reducing your sugar and carbohydrate intake. So maybe ketones are going to be a key to your ingredient for happiness. It might be something you want to experiment with. Until next time, I'm Dr. Drew Ramsey, and this is the recipe for happiness.